Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some balms and ointments for the winter months. You know, in the winter time, the humidity drops, sucks moisture out of our skin, and we're a lot more prone to irritation, those really uncomfortable, painful, dry patches. And moisturizer alone, while it can help, sometimes you need a balm or ointment. It's a lot more occlusive. It can really seal in the hydration and help facilitate barrier recovery and repair. This is especially true if you live somewhere where you have cold wind blowing, you can develop wind burn. Outside of just winter weather, however, you can develop this type of irritation anywhere where you have skin folds between the legs. That can happen a lot with running, anywhere where you have a lot of friction under the armpits. And young children and babies, they can develop a lot of irritation as they're teething, a lot of times they have some drooling and they can get a lot of irritation around the mouth. So the balms and ointments I'm going to be recommending in today's video are great for these conditions and they can be safely used on not only adults, but also young children and babies to prevent irritation and to help with healing and barrier recovery. Now recently I did a video on the top moisturizing creams for winter, so I'll link that down below in the description box, but the products I'm gonna be recommending in today's video, they are a lot more occlusive. And so what that means is they're really good at putting the brakes on transepidermal water loss out of the skin, but they may not be the most comfortable thing to wear to the entire face. Probably the gold standard when it comes to an ointment is gonna be petrolatum ointment, 100% petrolatum ointment. Vaseline is the brand name. It's a great ointment for your lips, for chap lips. Anytime there's a patient who has what's called recalcitrant chelitis, basically stubborn chap lips that are not getting better, plain petrolatum is a go-to recommendation. It's also really good for healing cuts and scrapes because it provides a nice seal to facilitate the new healthy skin tissue coming in, healing that cut or scrape. But I wanted to bring your attention to a newer product from Vaseline that um, is basically a a stick version of Vaseline that you can take with you on the go. And I think this is a great option for putting in your bag, taking with you on your commute. If you've got areas of the skin that are exposed to wind and become uncomfortable, you can touch up on the go. And this is particularly a great product for air travel. If you're traveling this upcoming holiday season, airplanes, they really can dry out your skin a lot. And then of course, hotels can dry out your skin a lot just because of the nature of the water that they have is often very hard. So this is a great product from Vaseline that you can use um, and take with you on the go. I think it's a lot more convenient than that big jar that you have to dip your fingers into. For years now, I have been using and recommending strongly the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This not only has petrolatum in it, but it also has ceramides that facilitate skin barrier recovery, and it has hyaluronic acid that can pull water into the top layers of the skin, imp improving hydration. So I've always loved this. I've always recommended it. It's not new. You're like, duh, we know. You're talking about it all the time. You love it. I put this on my lips at nighttime for chapped lips great it's great to put in the corners of your mouth you know when you sleep you drool that can cause a lot of irritation around the mouth so i've always loved this but you guys i have to give a shout out to this new product from cetaphil it is their healing ointment and um, i was really excited to see this how does it differ from the CeraVe product? Well, it is a petrolatum ointment, but it does not have ceramides in it. It does not have hyaluronic acid in it. I know some of you all are sensitive to hyaluronic acid, and in which case, you know, you may have had issues with the CeraVe product. Try this because it does not have hyaluronic acid. I think why I like this newer product from Cetaphil so much is that <clears throat> It kind of reminds me of, do you guys remember the Theraplex Barrier Balm I recommended in my last winter balms video a few years ago? I love that product and I don't know if they stopped making it or what's going on, but this new product from Cetaphil is kind of like that. It has microcrystalline wax and I find that the combination of petrolatum and microcrystalline wax makes for a lot more of an aesthetically pleasing feel to the balm and ointment. It's not as stiff and sticky and you know greasy feeling. The microcrystalline wax has a slightly more almost luxe feel than plain petrolatum. So the combination of the two I really think is nice. This also has shea butter in it, another great ingredient for helping with reduction of water loss out of the skin, transepidermal water loss. I mean, that really is where just a lot of things 
a lot of issues with the skin begin to go awry when the barrier becomes impaired and you start losing more water, whether that be irritation, chapped lips, dry skin, or flares of acne. That water loss out of the skin can actually trigger an acne breakout. It also has vitamin E in it, or, or tocopherol. Now that is an antioxidant that may help with healing as well and reducing oxidative stress. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys because I have been really happy with it. I just got it a few weeks ago and have been trying it out and I think it's great. Cetaphil has come out with a lot of great products this year. All right, so those are really heavy duty like petrolatum based ointments. Again, not everybody is going to find these aesthetically pleasing or comfortable to put to more widespread areas like the face or say you have really dry skin on the legs. Yeah, you could grease up with these. That would really help a lot, but you may not care for that feel. You may find that it makes you overheat as well because while these are so good at reducing transepidermal water loss out of the skin, they do really slow down the evaporation of sweat and that can make you feel overheated. So it's kind of a delicate balance between really dialing in on the transepidermal water loss, but at the same time, allowing your body to cool naturally through the evaporation of sweat. So I have here a few more products that I would consider more on the balm spectrum. Again, very occlusive, but not to the point of suffocating the, the skin and you're not able to get good evaporation of sweat. Now, this is a product I've talked about for a long time. It is by La Roche-Posay. I mean, it's really popular and for a good reason. It is a great healing balm. Now, this product has dimethicone as its active sort of skin protectant ingredient. Dimethicone is a silicone. It's a lot more lightweight and it does allow for better evaporation of sweat off the surface of the skin. This also has maticasoside, which comes from Centella Asiatica and metacasoside is an antioxidant, has anti-inflammatory properties, and it can help in healing. So it's been shown actually to help with improving the final appearance of a scar. Now this also has shea butter, like the Cetaphil ointment, and shea butter is a lot more lightweight. You can see right off the bat the difference in appearance. I mean, this almost, at first glance, you're like, oh, is that a cream? But put it on and it's like, boom. It's got zinc in it, which has healing, which is healing. Zinc is anti-inflammatory. It also has copper that is anti-inflammatory. And then again, that Madagascar side. This is a product you can comfortably wear on the face and I highly recommend it. If you've got windburn on the face, it will help with healing that. And it's also really good for those of you who deal with mask irritation, mask knee, to put this on under the mask because it will help cut down on the irritancy from sweat pooling under the mask and then that friction of the mask. This is a great product for mask knee. So highly recommend it in that situation. And if you are new to say tretinoin or maybe you're on Accutane and you're dealing with a lot of peeling of dry skin, going into winter, I mean, it's even gonna be worse for you. This is a great product to really help soothe and heal that, that uh, vulnerable skin. Now, this is a product that is kind of similar actually, but I thought I would mention it. It just has a few subtle differences in the ingredients. It's by Uriage, but it's the Sika Cream. This too has copper and zinc in it, which are anti-inflammatory. Unlike the La Roche-Posay product, this does not have maticasoside. It has mineral oil and dimethicone. Now the the La Roche-Posay product does not have mineral oil. Mineral oil is an occlusive. So I like this one, but I like the La Roche-Posay one better. I don't know. I think because while all of these are fragrance free, by the way, if I didn't mention, this one kind of has an odd odor. So that's just a, you know, a little twitchy point, but this is, you know, likewise gonna be good for irritation on the face, anywhere on the body. But yeah, this one has a slightly odd odor. I'm not entirely sure what it is. And the other ingredient that's unique to this is borage seed oil. Maybe that is actually what gives it the kind of odd odor. Borage seed oil topically has been, there is some evidence that it may be helpful for eczema. So if you've got an eczema flare where it's really raw, rashy, weepy, 
this would be a good thing to apply. The copper or the zinc are going to help calm down the inflammation. The formulation overall is going to help with barrier recovery, but it's not going to feel as sticky and tacky. This is also a good product. This and the Sika Plast Balm, these are good for using on the hands. In the wintertime, our hands may be exposed to the elements more prone to dryness. And then of course with hand washing, it is, it's a situation where you are gonna develop a lot of dryness. But if you just put petrolatum on, which is a great option, unfortunately it stays very greasy on the hands and that's not so convenient as you have to go about the rest of your day. Now this product is by Event. It's their Secalfate restorative cream. I've talked about this in a lot of videos before. I love it because it has magnesium stearate in it which helps with healing. Like it's been shown to help improve the healing of ulcers and sores. This also has zinc oxide and it has that microcrystalline wax. This is a more occlusive balm, but it's comfortable enough to wear on the face. I would say it's kind of akin, it's kind of the same consistency as the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. The other event product I wanted to draw your attention to, it's a balm, but it's not quite as heavy as anything else I have mentioned in this review so far. And the reason I'm drawing it to your attention is because I think it's particularly useful around the eyelid area. If you're dealing with eyelid dermatitis, some people find that these heavier ointments and balms, they don't enjoy using them around the eyes. Some people who are prone to styes find that these types of products maybe aggravate the size, in which case maybe a more lightweight balm would be a better choice. So I recently this year discovered this product from Event. It's their Tolerance Control Soothing Skin Recovery Balm. It's really helpful for healing irritation prone skin. It has shea butter in it. It has arginine, which is part of the moisture barrier and can help with barrier recovery. And it has a postbiotic called D-Sensinose that can help perhaps in controlling some of the neurocutaneous mediators of itch and discomfort. So if you've got irritation that's causing you to have symptoms of stinging and burning, this ingredient, which is proprietary to Avan, may help in kind of soothing that. And it also has squalane in it, which is a nice emollient that is very lightweight. So this doesn't feel greasy or heavy on the skin. And it comes in an airless pump packaging. So I thought I would mention this one too because it is a balm and while it's not nearly as occlusive, it's almost more of a cream consistency, but it is a little bit thicker and I think overall it would be a great choice for dermatitis on the eyelids. Eyelid dermatitis is very common. It can be due to things that you come in contact with because the skin of the eyelids is very thin, but not only that, the nature of the muscles around the eyes, they kind of contract in this accordion-like fashion, and that is thought actually to perhaps lead to the trapping of irritants in closer proximity to the skin and with closer contact, almost skin on skin contact. And we think perhaps that may be another underlying reason why eyelids are so predisposed to contact dermatitis. Now, while fragrance is the most common skincare allergen and skincare products, when it comes to eyelid dermatitis, actually the most common allergen is gold. And that can be transferred from jewelry that you're wearing. A lot of skincare products these days are putting gold in stuff. Gold is a very common allergen to, for the eyelids. And if you think about it, because likely because it's abrasive and a lot of people are already sensitized to nickel. Nickel is a very common allergen overall. And they can cross react because gold, to a certain extent, the alloy, it's an alloy. So it has you know some variable amount of other metals. So that may be an issue. And the gold is abrasive. So it can put you at more risk for contact dermatitis. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments, are you doing any traveling this upcoming holiday season? Like any air travel? Hopefully these balms and ointments are something that may help you out in preventing dry skin, irritation. A lot of times that dryness and irritation, it will kick off an acne flare. So I hope this video was helpful to you. On the end slate, I'm gonna put my video on the best body creams for winter. Many of them, actually all but one, can be used on the face too. So check that out if you missed it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.